Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time with a little theory. This time we are talking about the pulse width modulation. Yeah? PWM. Yeah? I try to explain what is the pulse width modulation. Yeah? On our Arduino we do have outputs, digital in and outputs. I told you uh, in a previous video. Some of these outputs are available for so-called pulse width modulation. Uh, what does it mean? Well, there are two extremes of an output. Either it's all the time off, uh, so here, all the time off, zero volt. Uh, so here we have five volts in our Arduino, here we have zero volts every time. And the other extreme, if we make a digital write, for instance, eh, then it is always on. Hmm? Always on. This would be output of zero, this would be output of one. However, this Arduino, some pins of this Arduino, they are marked here with a little tilde sign. Yeah? So marked with this sign. Yeah? Looks a little bit like a minus because it's very tiny, but yeah, marked with this tilde sign. They are capable of doing pulse width modulation. And, for instance, they can be turned on 50%. So they are on for 50% of the load. This means they will be turned on after a certain amount of time off. And always turned on and off. The pulses So they are on, on only 50% of the time. Okay. This here, this here, we're on 0% of the time. Yeah. This here is on 100% of the time. Yeah. And this here is on 50% of the time. There is a certain frequency yeah, here. This, this is the periodic, the period, PVM period. 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 PWM period. Yeah. This is constant. And within this period, we can change how long the pulse will make, will, will, be, will be there. So for instance, if we have 25%, then this will stay on only 25%. There are shorter pulses then, and longer pauses. This PWM period should be, of course, a constant value. I have not managed to do this here in my in my schematic. Yeah, it's a very constant frequency. Depending on the pin, there are different PWM frequencies. Yeah. And if we have, for instance, so this is 25%, let's say. Yeah. And if we have 75% then there are only short pauses and the pulses are pretty long. Yeah? So only a quarter of the time is turned off. Yeah? So this would be 75%. 
this thing here, uh, this percentage, this is called duty cycle. And on the outputs marked with a tilde sign, we can adjust a duty cycle. We can adjust this. We can select simply. And we can select a value. We can, without saying percentage, we are selecting select duty cycle. By a value between zero and two hundred fifty-five. Okay. So this would be this here would be zero huh? on our Arduino, huh? and this always on would be two hundred fifty-five. A value of two hundred fifty-five, huh? and fifty percent then is of course around one hundred twenty-eight. And anything in between you can select. Okay. So, how do we select this? Well, there is a command. This is not called analog, right? Uh, this is not called, <laughs> already told it, uh, this is not called digital, right? But there is analog, right? And you select the pin and the cycle, duty cycle. The pin must be one mark with a tilde sign, and this must be a value between 0 and 255. And then suddenly you can adjust, for instance, the brightness of LED. And this is what is going to happen in one of the next application videos. Okay? We are selecting the brightness of LED by using analog write. We will simply alter this value here and see how the LED is getting brighter and not that bright. Yeah? Of course, this will cause some flickering. Yeah? And if the PWM cycle is fast enough, our eye will not, will not see this. But the cameras usually are fast enough. This is why you sometimes, if you're filming with your, with your uh, phone or something like this, with a camera, some fancy LED lighting of a car or something like this, you see, you see patterns running through. Yeah? Simply because sometimes some LEDs are currently lit and some LEDs are currently not lit and the shutter frequency of your camera is fast enough to only take a snapshot at one at, at one time and sometimes it takes the snapshot when the LED is on and sometimes it takes a snapshot if the LED is off and this is why those LEDs appear to be blinking huh? on your camera and with the bright eye it looks smooth yeah? I hope we can see this with this camera also that is, that is getting lower and brighter. Maybe we can see even some flickering. Yeah? We will see. But with the, with the naked eye, it's looking good. Yeah? This is also, this is the very usual way of dimming LEDs. Also your mobile phones and so on, they are working exactly that way. Yeah? The LED backlight. A lot of things nowadays work that way yeah? by switching on and off very fast yeah? with the help of of power electronics this is very very heavily used yeah? for instance inverter for your motor drive also working like this yeah? so pulse width modulation this was it and like I said next video Application of pulse width modulation. Application of analog write. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.